Victory Bible Church is 37 years. Hooray! 37 years ago, on a Sunday, Victory Bible Church took off. And it's 37 years. So join me. Let's celebrate. Let's thank God for 37 years of His mercies and of His grace. I want to congratulate every member of Victory Bible Church International Worldwide. Wherever you are, wherever you find yourself, I want to say God bless you. God bless you. God increase you. God multiply you. God cause His face to shine upon you for your contribution. I want to thank God and pray that your destiny becomes so, so sure with your walk in Victory Bible Church International. Congratulations to all our bishops, all our reverend ministers, all our pastors, all our elders, all our deacons and deaconesses, and all our members. May God bless you for your sacrifices. May God bless you for your dedication. May God bless all of you for various ways in which you have made sure that this great commission of Victory Bible Church International becomes a reality. Congratulations. I want to wish all our pastor's wives, I want to wish all of them a happy, happy 37th anniversary of Victory Bible Church International. You know what? Without you, Victory Bible Church will not be where it is now. And so I seize the opportunity today to bring you a short message. And the message I want to share with you is on our commission. The commission that Victory Bible Church has been given, we find that scripture in Isaiah 58 verse 12. It says, and they that shall be of thee shall build the old, old waste places. And they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations. And thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. Now, this is the commission statement. That is what God laid on my heart. That Victory Bible Church should raise foundations of many generations and be restorer of paths. What is the meaning of raising foundations of many generations? It is as simple as this. That God wants us to raise foundations of many generations. God is a generational thinker. For everything God does, he thinks transgenerations. He thinks more than one generation. That is why he's the God of Abraham, he's the God of Isaac, and he's the God of Jacob. And so, on this, our 37th anniversary, we want to remind all of us of this great commission, raising foundations of many generations. Why do we have to raise foundations of many generations? Because there's something Satan wants. The enemy that wants to destroy man is because one, God gave dominion to man. It will surprise you that all the problems, all the difficulty that Satan has been fighting you, it's because of dominion that God gave to man. Then number two thing, and that is where our commission comes in, is that Satan wants loyalty that would bind generations yet unborn. That is what Satan wants. Satan is looking for generational loyalty. So what Satan does is when he, he, he you know, he takes advantage of one family, he wants it to be transgenerational. That is what Satan wants. And so we have been given a commission that we should fight and we should stop it. That Satan will not win generations, but that we would raise foundations of many generations. Foundations are very important. 
If you see a, a superstructure, you see a skyscraper, what is keeping it there is the foundation. And so God has called Victory Bible Church to come and check on the foundation to be sure that the foundation of many generations are firm, are solid, so that Satan will not destroy generations yet unborn. And for some reason, there are many of us that are ignorant about it. And so we think, oh, let me live for one generation alone. No, that is why the Bible tells us in Psalm 11, that if the foundations be destroyed, what will the righteous do? So no matter how righteous you are, if your foundations are not correct, you are going to go through a lot of crises and Satan is going to take advantage of you. So God has given us a commission, a mandate that we should raise the foundations of many generations. And so as we celebrate our 37th anniversary, I want to call for prayer, prayer. And I want to call for more commitment and loyalty to this great commission. Let's be more committed, let, let's be more dedicated as we lift up this great commission. And we cannot do it without evangelism, without a walk with the Lord, without our prayer altar being raised. So today, let us raise prayer altars everywhere that will go back to repair the foundations of many generations. One more time I say thank you. I say thank you to everybody. I want to say God bless you to all everybody, those seen, those that cannot be seen, but you are working to be sure that foundations of many generations are raised as we wait for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May God bless you. May God increase you. May God make sure that kings will come into the brightness of thy rising. May you be a transgenerational influencer and may generations rise up and call you blessed. God bless you and happy anniversary to all Victory Bible churches worldwide.